Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about what is in my beauty essential emergency bag and if you want to find out what that is, keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm Sophie and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please take a second to hit that red subscribe button down there. It means you'll never miss another post from me. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked and enjoyed the video and it makes me really happy. Today I want to talk to you about what is in my Beauty Essentials Emergency Bag. This is the kind of bag that you would keep in your handbag, you might keep it in your office drawer at work, you might keep it in your locker or your school bag, you might even keep one in the car, and it just contains everything for any kind of emergency should one arise. For example, if you are suddenly invited out to drinks after work and you haven't got anything else with you, you can just freshen up with these essentials and it just means you don't feel like you have to miss out. So the first thing for a beauty emergency essentials bag is to pick a nice sized bag that you can fit everything you need in. You don't need a hold all for everything. These are just emergency essentials. These are just to get you by. They're not for you to be able to create a masterpiece from. They're just to make you feel comfortable and confident and just to kind of touch things up if you need to. So the first thing I have in my bag is some facial wipes. I don't use facial cleansing wipes at home. I sometimes will use them to take off my makeup if I am so so tired and I just feel like I don't have time but I tend to do a full cleansing routine because I find that my skin gets more out of that than it does from something that's in a cleansing wipe. It just makes sense that if you're using different products they're not all going to be in the same quantity in a wipe but these are great to kind of carry on you. For example, if your mascara smudges, you can kind of touch it up with this and then touch it up with some makeup. Or if you want to take off your day eye makeup and then put on some kind of evening makeup, these are great. It just means you can kind of do all of that without making such a huge mess of you. The next thing is a toothbrush and toothpaste. This is perfect for if you maybe you've been out to lunch and you just want to make sure that your teeth are nice and fresh and your breath's nice and fresh. So the next thing I have is a mini can of deodorant just to freshen up. I also carry a small can of dry shampoo. I recently spoke about dry shampoo being one of my favourite things right now because it just freshens up your hair. If you feel like the day is kind of gone on and your hair just doesn't feel like it did in the morning when you'd first done it. You can just kind of spritz this around, give your head a good massage with it and it just kind of revives it. So this is great so you don't have to feel like you need to miss out because you can't go and wash your hair. Just fluff it up a bit with this, this is perfect. This, this is like a shower in a can for an emergency. While we're on the topic of hair, I also have a hairbrush but I keep mine in my handbag and I would always have my handbag with me in these kind of situations. But if you wouldn't necessarily, you might wanna have like a travel hairbrush in here. And I also carry a small travel size tin of hairspray because again, if your hair's feeling a little bit past its sell by day, you can just kind of scrunch it up into a messy bun and just spritz a little bit of hairspray to hold everything in place. It's just perfect for that. I also always carry some hand sanitizer because again, if you're not near like a restroom so you can wash your hands, sometimes just giving your hands a little rub with this just makes you feel a little bit fresher until you can get to a sink and wash your hands. When it comes to the makeup that you have in your emergency kit, you need to think what you really need to have and what you really don't need to have. So for example, my foundation will last into the evening. I won't need to reapply it, so there is no point in me carrying it around. One thing I do know that I may need though is concealer. So I always carry a concealer in case I have a breakout or in case I just need to touch things up. Another thing that can wear off throughout the day is face powder. So you might become a little bit shiny, so having face powder in is always a good idea. I always think having an eyeshadow palette is great because you can always jazz up your eyes to an evening look or smarten them up if you are going into a meeting or if you've just had 
PE or something at school, then you can just kind of touch everything up and it'd be great in mine for example I have a mirror so I don't need to carry an extra mirror and I just carried this eyeshadow palette this is Storm by Sleek and it just has all the different colours I could need to create any kind of look from you want to have some kind of lip product in your bag if you wear lip products if you wear lipstick or you wear lip gloss chuck one of those in there I also always carry a mascara so you can just kind of touch up your mascara as you need to what I do when I get any kind of perfume, I keep hold of them and I always carry one around with me so I don't have to carry a full size bottle of perfume. A great tip as well is to get some travel size makeup brushes. In this travel set I have got every kind of brush for every eventuality I would ever need. They're all in a nice cute travel size and they all go in this lovely case so they all stay nice and neat and they don't get makeup all over the bag which I absolutely hate. So that's everything that I have in my makeup essentials emergency bag. If there's anything that you think that you would carry that I don't, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, you can hit that red subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week for another video. Take care guys, bye.